all right so what is going on today youtube we're gonna get back with another duel and before we start or before they they start which they already did i would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already and if you guys can't click on that to support the channel so it looks like it's dark magicians um which is going to be starting off and it doesn't look like they opened up the best hand but hey they do have a terraform with a secret village so hopefully they do be able or they will be able to actually summon a spellcaster and then there we go with a an apprentice illusion of magician which is a hundred and something dollar card which doesn't make no type of sense um i have no clue i have no clue why that is i don't know if it went down i don't even know if it was a joke but god damn it it is a very expensive card so let's see what reactor town gets to do um he's only playing 11 extra deck cards as in the opponent uh which i don't understand maybe it's a glitch um and he's saying damn so it looks like his whole hand is filled with spell cards and he goes with a not not so much of a t set but a t set set one monster set one back row he's probably going to end his turn and i uh, know he sets a field card and he sets one more back row and and then he sets a back row i guess we're just setting things now all right now here we go going in for an attack with apprentice malusian uh apprentice magician let's see what that uh reactor town is playing and uh and is he going to reveal what they're playing? I believe that they do have 15 extra deck cards. They, oh, there goes the quaking, and this it may get out of hand for gone, and it looks like it may get out of hand for gone because now he's free to use any spell card because your uh, the the person controlling Secret Village does not own this spell. I mean, control the spellcaster. A faced up spellcaster. I don't know why it doesn't say that. So let's see what happens now. Now I want to know if if, if Yu-Gi-Oh Pro is going to do that because that's gonna that'll be really fucked up and real like like damn Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. I understand that you know some rulings are iffy, but damn, like come on. I mean it does say that though. <laughs> it does say if you control a spellcaster, and since we do know. He do technically controls one, but it's not faced up, so that should not prevent him from activating spell cards. It looks like he's playing Ancient Gears. Um, my brother used to play this deck back in the day. Why are you even doing that? There's no reason to do that. There's no reason to do that. Uh, why? Why are you? Oh my! I think they're actually. I think it's actually happened like that. I think it is. Um. Yeah, I, I I don't know why, it 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 uh I don't know why it does that. That should not. That should technically not work. Now I don't understand why he went Castell. I don't know why he didn't use any of his cards. I I really don't know. I don't know if he's just going into that. But that's literally the line of card I would have touched. I definitely would have got rid of the circle, because this is the problem, and it's not really Secret Village. Uh, and I guess it was preventing him from activating cards, which is crazy. Well, this is going to be, um, no, never mind. Is he going to actually get out there? What's the name? Uh, is he gonna, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring it out now. He's already normal summon, so um, let's see what can happen now. Because, um, I, to be honest with you, I would have left the secret village up because... If he didn't control the spellcaster, he would have lost. Now, Geartown should get the uh, Reactor Dragon. Is that the name? His name is... Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I could probably tell. But no, he gets the Ancient Gear Gadget. And uh, I don't understand that one. But I guess... Definitely would have got the Ancient Gear. The one that when you attack, you can pop a back row. Oh, never mind. This is exactly why he did it. This game is over, folks. And we're going into game two. <laughs> 9,000 ancient gear fucking giant. And it pierces. Jesus Christ. How much damage is that? How much damage is that? So he already hit him with what? Let me see. How much damage? That's 25 from 9,000. That's what? 65. Another 65. And then if he attacks over that, that would be what? 
Um, let me see, 17 from 9, so that'd be 73. So that's 65, 65. Um, and that's uh, 13,000. Damn, 20,000 damage he could have done. That is just fucking crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. If my math is right, that's twenty. That's over 20,000 damage. That is crazy. That is the power of Chaos Gear Giant. Now, we were we, we did play this deck. We also did play this deck. Um, so, I mean, it's not it's, I, it's, it's clearly um, not no stranger to us because, I mean, it could get even worse than that. You know what? I, I wonder if somebody ever played a Black Garden uh, Ancient Gear deck because, you know, you do use field cards for both. So, like, you just use the Black Garden, summon, give them five tokens, and then summon Chaos Dragon and just bam, 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 and tackle over everything. And that, that, that that's just funky right there. That's just crazy. Jesus Christ, over 20,000 damage. And <clears throat> like I said, I definitely still would have got rid of the circle. Now, I don't know if it's going to be doing the same thing like it did in the last duel where it switches the people. Um, for some, I don't know why it does that. I really don't know. Still don't understand why Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro does that, but it switches who's uh, here. Like, as in Reactor Town was the, like, see? The Reactor Town, he's, he, he's, the, he's the dude playing gear, you know, Ancient Gears. But now look, like now it's now it's him. So that's stupid. Discarding Sorcerer of Dark Magic, which I always tried to play but never could because there are not too many. There's a lot of level six or higher spellcasters, but you can't really summon them that uh, easily. And then like be able to summon this, so that's that's just hard to do. And it looks like this man has opened up another OTK. Let's see if he can do it. Um, Dark Magicians didn't open up the greatest hand. Now, they did kind of lose the duel. I would say, no, no, not really. They didn't really lose the duel. There was nothing really they can do. Um, you, you can't, you can't combat, uh, to, to a lesson 20,000 damage. Okay, well, that was kind of stupid. That's going to probably prevent him from special summon, but if he has OTK, it's not going to stop. And it does. It does stop him. Why would you stop? You'd probably have an OTK. I don't understand why he stopped. And I wonder when we're going to get Cyber Cyberstein. I really wonder when we're going to get it. I don't understand why we don't got it. I mean, it's at three in Japan. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it's at three in Japan. It's it's not doing anything of it. Like, damn. Actually, no. Never mind. Because if we had Cyberstein. This is OTK right here. The summon uh, catapult pop this. Get two level fours. XC. I mean, XC. Go Gear Gear X. Search Western. Go Cyberstein. And did this. Now, now you're just in the game. <laughs> you're in the game, and this game's over. So it looks like Dark Magician once again hasn't opened up to, hasn't really drawn into anything to counteract what's going on here. So it looks like he's just probably going to attack with Apprentice Illusion Magician, um, and it's probably going to be a 2000 Defender uh, the Ancient Gear Gadget, and then that's going to be the end of his turn. Um, <clears throat> it looks like he might just get OTK'd once again. Let's see what's going on. And it's an Ancient Gear box. Okay. Never mind. Uh, Ancient Gear box. Well, they all, you know, both of them had 2,000 defense, so it really doesn't matter. Um, hopefully, he does have something back there. But even if he does have a spell or trap, it's not going to work because it's unaffected by spells and traps. And then during the battle phase, you can't use monster effects. So Ancient Gear Chaos Dragon is what you would, that, that is a boss fucking monster. That is something that needs to be a boss monster. All right. So it looks like it's an Ancient Gear Chaos uh, it, oh, fusion OTK. So a Chaos Giant OTK deck. All right. It, it, it's it. actually maybe this be an Ancient Gear Turbo deck. <laughs> but he's trying to get it out. As you see, he's playing Hand Destruction and stuff like that. So I'm guessing he's playing Overload. Why would you discard Gear Town? I, I know they changed the ruling of Gear Town. So because he before he used to be able to set a field card over this, and that would trigger. Why isn't it? Every like I literally just watched um, Team Samurai's video and he was playing this, so it's like, it's it's why, why is everybody you know why is everybody playing this card? What does this even do? Banish two spell cards, add a spell. Oh okay, oh that specifically lists the card Dark Magician. Uh that's actually a pretty good card. That's really fucking good to be honest with you. That's really good. He uh that yeah that that's a, that's a really good card right there. And he probably has what's the name in his hand because it's seeing if he wants to chain. So he probably has the uh, the other magician, the 2125. I, I don't know his name, but the other one, the the 
Did he he summoned it last turn? So let's see. Um, uh, what is he? Let me see. Okay, well, it's it's not showing. Oh, there goes a festival spring. So wait, what does this do? I wonder if that's destroying, but it misses timing anyway, so doesn't really matter. No, I don't know why he chained it. It misses timing. So let's see. What well, it, it most likely is another gear town, but what what is the other field card he's playing? Oh, Fusion Gate. That's 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 pretty good. Fusion Gate is pretty good. Um, so let's see what's resolving now. Are you searching with gear get X, I believe? And then this is going to trigger, gonna get him another card. Oh, this is this may be is this game? Oh, there it goes. Uh Magicians of Dark Illusion. There you go. That's the card I was talking about. That's exactly the one I was talking about. Um <clears throat> yeah, that's gonna trigger. And then I believe that triggers the circle because this is treated as a dark magician while it's on the field. Yes, yes, it is. All right, so and then this triggers again because this triggered and he gets back a dark magician. So now he has two monsters, two level seven. So now it, it swung right back, right back into Dark Magician's favor just by one uh, illusion magic. And I under I don't understand the Festival Springs play. Doesn't make any type of sense. It really doesn't. I wonder what he has right here. Like I said, my get oh no, there's a power bond. All right, what are oh, you gonna go into the devil? Okay, ancient your devil. All right, so. Oh no, that's my <laughs> oh shit! He did it again. He did it again. He dropped another chaos giant. Why you didn't throw that in attack mode? That's an extra two thousand. That's an extra two thousand. Um, and you could have attacked too. You could have attacked. So this literally could actually what? That's two thousand. He's gonna do two thousand and two thousand. That was actually game. That was actually game, right? Yes, because you could still that you could have still attacked. No, it wasn't game. All right, I'm off. I'm completely off. All right, he could have left him at a thousand. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you would know. Like I said, you cannot leave your opponent. You can't. You can't mess up. I understand Chaos Giant's a great card, but you cannot mess up. You cannot leave your opponent with anything on their board. But it doesn't look like uh, Dark Magician is actually going to be able to come back because of Chaos Giant's effect. It's unaffected by spells and traps. And that's pretty much the only way they can get it. Matter of fact, they can come back, but I don't know if he I, I don't know if he can right now. There there's a way they can come back. They have to get two level sevens on. They have to go into their exceed because when they're actually you can't because during the battle fight, yeah. There's nothing they there's nothing this deck can do. There's literally nothing this deck can do. This game is completely over. This is unaffected by everything. And this is unaffected by spells and traps. So there's literally nothing you can do. This is over, man. Dark Magicians, they, I guess they, they tried to fight violently, but it's just, <laughs> that shit is just ridiculous. That shit, this card is so fucking good. I'm really surprised that, um, <clears throat> I'm really surprised that, you know, Ancient Gears aren't doing at least something. At least, you know, a, a, a top 32 or some shit. Because this card right here is so amazing. And it, it literally won him the duel again. So, yeah, that was, you know, that's it. Chaos uh, Ancient Gears win again. Chaos Giant does just massive amount of damage. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Are you even going to Because this triggers too. Jesus Christ, man. Ancient Gears. My brother used to play this deck back in the day, and I could not beat it to save our fucking life. I could not beat this goddamn deck. Oh, my God, man. This. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I was about to say, did he literally just cost himself the damn duel? But no. This is going to attack for the last remaining uh, 40, uh, 2,000 damage. And thanks to you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. I did. That was pretty fun. That was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys tomorrow.